Hello, and welcome to this course on the Certified Kubernetes Applications Developer. My name is Mumshad Manambet, and I will be your instructor for this course. So about me, I'm a solutions architect. I specialize on cloud automation and DevOps technologies. I have authored several bestseller and top-rated courses on Docker, Kubernetes, and OpenShift, as well as automation technologies like Ansible, Chef, and Puppet. This course is the second installment in the series on Kubernetes and focuses on a certification. Let's take a look at the structure of this course. We start with a series of lectures on various topics in Kubernetes, where we simplify complex concepts using illustration and animation. We have optional quizzes that test your knowledge after each lecture. We have coding quizzes that help you practice what you learned on a real live environment right in your browser. The Kubernetes certification is a hands-on practical exam, so the coding exercises will give you enough experience and practice on getting ready for it. More on this topic in the upcoming lectures. We will also discuss some tips and tricks to crack the certification exam. And as always, if you have any questions, you may reach out directly to us through our Q&A section. Now, this is one of the cores in the series on Kubernetes and focuses on getting the Kubernetes Application Developer Certification. So a basic understanding of Kubernetes is required. For example, you must know how to set up a lab environment to practice on. The certification curriculum does not include Kubernetes setup or install, so you could set up a learning environment in any way you like. We discuss a lot of these in the beginner's course. You also need a good understanding of YAML language for creating configuration files in Kubernetes and a basic understanding of what a master and worker nodes are and what pods, replica sets and deployments are. We do refresh some of these topics in this course, but if you are an absolute beginner, I highly recommend taking my Kubernetes for the Absolute Beginners course. Let us now look at the course objectives. The objectives of this course are aligned to match the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer Exam curriculum. We will discuss about details around the certification itself in one of the upcoming lectures before heading into any of these topics. We start with the core concepts. We have covered a lot of uh, the core concepts in the beginner's course. We will, however, recap some of these in this course to refresh our memory, such as the Kubernetes architecture, what pods are, and how to create and configure pods, etc. The next section is on configuration and covers topics like config maps, security contexts, resource requirements, secrets, service accounts, etc. We will then look deeper into multi-container pods, the different patterns of multi-container pods, such as ambassador, adapter, and sidecar. We will look at some examples and use cases around these. We then learn about readiness and liveness probes and why you need them. We will also look at some of the monitoring, logging, and debugging options available with Kubernetes, specifically around pods, containers, and applications. We then move on to labels and selectors and then rolling updates and rollbacks in deployment. We will learn about why you need jobs and cron jobs and how to schedule them. We will then learn about services and network policies. And finally, we look at persistent volumes and claims. For all of these topics, we have lectures that makes these complex topics easy to understand, followed by coding challenges, where you will be practicing what you learned on a real live environment. Let's take a look at that. The Kubernetes certification is a practical hands-on exam. So it is very important to practice what you learn, which is why we have built a custom solution that will give you access to a real Kubernetes environment right in your browser, along with a quiz portal that provides fun and challenging problems for you to solve. You are required to gain a set of different skills working with Kubernetes, such as how to look for and find information, how to troubleshoot issues, etc. That is why we have questions where you will be asked to find information within an environment. You will also be asked to perform configuration tasks where you will be required to configure and deploy applications and services on the cluster. 
We will test your work and provide feedback instantly. We will occasionally make changes to the environment or break stuff and ask you to fix them. These are common issues that one would face while working with Kubernetes. And these exercises will help you troubleshoot and fix issues quickly. When you see an error message, you should be able to understand what that means and where to look for and how to fix it. You need practice. You need to get faster. One of the major villains in a practical test, like the one in the Kubernetes certification, is time. Even simple issues like a typo or an indentation error in a YAML file can take a beginner hours to fix. This is why we have hundreds of such exercises in this course that will make you an expert and give you enough practice to help you clear the exam. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking this course and I am excited to get started.